Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, tickets of all AMC and Ape. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a program which is predicting the date and price of AMC Squeeze. We're then going to be looking at how there's going to be a run that's bigger than the August run and how firms are loading up on AMC because of that and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end of this video. As always, we're going to take a look at the chart first for AMC and Ape. It's a Friday, so we are doing, of course, a conclusion of what happened this week and what really went down. We can see AMC went down by 8.58% and we closed at 49 Now again, I'm sure everyone is expecting this to happen. I am still expecting people to, of course, be upset about it, which is, of course, right to do so, you know, but we did see that with the whole coming in, it was very usual to expect the price to, of course, drop down because of that. And so this is what we're seeing with AMC right now. And as you can see, if we are not able to hold the support, it's not too unusual for the price to be continued going down. But of course, like I said, it's not the end of the world for AMC because because there's a lot more catalysts and again this is just waiting for buys to come back in and again we have seen this multiple times happen before and amc will bounce back from this and so you know once we are seeing the price go down what we do want to see is how amc of course recovers next week and there is a important date coming up next week which i want to be talking about later on as well and so if we are able to see the opening of next week break above 518 it would be a good start for next week so far for amc you know this was to be expected we did say that we wanted to see a break of 703 at the start of the week but the moment we saw that hole i'm sure everyone was expecting the price to be of course pushed down now if you take a look at ape on the other hand you know it's the same thing where they're putting the pressure on ape now when you take a look at ape and you take a look at amc as well you will understand that no bad news actually happened for amc and ape and despite the fact we're still seeing the price drop down for ape it wouldn't it really doesn't make sense for the price to be dropping down especially when it's trying to reach a equilibrium with the price of amc so when you take things and take this into consideration you really understand what it's happening with ape you know with this there isn't really too much technical analysis you could give we did break below the supports that we wanted to see at hold the 2.79 2.66 and in this case also the 241 and 244 but when you take into consideration the whole that's happened, when you take into consideration what I'm about to show you at the end of this video, everything starts to make more sense. So let's take a look at the news first. Now, this is something that I thought it was quite interesting and I want to bring this up. So essentially, I'm sure everyone knows about ChatGPT. And what it is, is of course an AI program. So this was asked for, when will AMC have a short squeeze? Now, what ChatGPT has said is that according to my sources, AMC will have a short squeeze on the 15th of February, 2023. Please keep in mind that information may not be accurate. Now, like I said, I always hate to give out dates because dates are not 100%. And in fact, it's always been something that only stirs up drama. But the reason why I also want to mention this as well is if we go take a look um, before this, is that ChatGPT has also said that he expects a market crash on February 15th. Now, Two reasons I want to talk about this firstly. Firstly, we see a lot of news which indicates that next week may be a very, very volatile market for the overall economy. And we may be seeing a lot of things being dumped and a lot of things crashing. So that is something we do want to watch out for. Not saying that will 100% happen, but it is good to prepare for what could happen in the future. But not only that, it seems like even ChatGPT are saying that there is a correlation between the crash of the market and of course squeeze of AMC. And that's the main focus I really wanted to be looking at in terms of the correlation in between. No one can predict when the market will crash. However, things that we can work out is that if the market were to crash, what will happen to certain stocks? What will happen to certain industries? And so in this case, we are seeing a lot of correlation in between the crash of the market and the squeeze of AMC. So if we see a crash happening on February 15th, we may be looking at the squeeze. And that's why I wanted to mention. Then another question was proposed in terms of what do you think AMC will reach during the crash, aka the squeeze. And so firstly, just like ChatGB said, during the market crash on February 15th, AMC stock is expected to reach a peak value of $500 per share. So guys, comment down below. Do you guys go to ChatGPT? And um, if AMC were to squeeze, what price do you think we will reach at its peak? So I think that this was very interesting. Like I said, guys, don't just take this date and think that we are going to squeeze on February 15th. It's more of understanding that we may be looking into a lot of volatility going to next week. But not only that, it seems like there's a lot of data which backs up the statement. There is a correlation between the market crash and AMC. And we have to explain this reason before. It's obviously because if we take a look at AMC and we see the price dropping down, we understand that this is done, of course, by 
short sellers using their long positions as collaterals in order to leverage down their short positions. So if we see the whole market crash, their collateral can no longer work and they will have to start covering AMC, obviously pushing the price up. And so that's what we are talking about in terms of the correlation. Now, the next thing we have is from Darren who talks about AMC not saying this is a repeat of the August run as I think this run will be far stronger in totality. But my point in a lot of what I put out is trying to show you guys that these runs all follow similar patterns, never identical, always similar, compare, contrast, observe. And so I completely agree with that statement that what he's obviously saying is that there is patterns right now which shows that we are of course building up to be looking like this august run that we had back in 2022 which you guys can see by what i've marked over here and so he's saying that this is adding up for what we're seeing right now and we may be experiencing that run and even bigger again like i said market data is very very important some of you may have called me out for trying to spread fear when we said the market was of course uh, amc was going to drop but that wasn't because i wanted to see a drop that's because every time we have seen it it's being halted we've then seen the pressure coming in afterwards and that's exactly what we're witnessing right now you know another ob observation if we to look, look at amc whilst we did of course have the day go down you guys can see that the bias was really trying to come in and you can see with the increase in volume so really this is just not a good reflection of people quote unquote selling their shares but rather short sellers manipulating the price and pushing amc down so you know i think a lot of things are adding up right now and definitely like i said Again, you know, market data has shown us before that AMC, when it experienced the halt, it will bounce up. And again, it will get to the point where they can no longer halt us or they can't choose to hold us and you know many other factors out there as well so that again is something that we have witnessed before if we take a look at the whole we see the price drop down but then we see the price go back up if we take a look at the whole over here which happened on of course the 8th of august we see the price drop but then we see the price jump back up now obviously if you take a look the drop has been roughly around we could say you know 20 30 days but we can see in terms of the halt it's taking shorter and shorter meaning they are needing to hold amc you know asap right now because of the pressure we are applying against them something else we want, i want to talk about in terms of amc right now whilst everyone is of course very you know um negative about amc we're seeing bank of america actually loading up on amc calls way more calls than puts and they bought more shares today um and it was filed today and so the thing i want to talk about here is I don't, I'm not too agreeing with the options. I think options is of course very, very short term, but when you see firms loading up on shares as well, it really shows that they are not, you know, what you think in terms of trying to bash AMC down. Now, Bank of America, all these other firms, I'm not saying that they are of course all good firms, but I am saying is that if they are also loading up on AMC shares, it's of course giving the feeling that AMC will of course have a better run in the future. Otherwise these firms won't be buying shares that will not make them money. You know, if we take a look at why AMC is down right now, and again, showing this, all of this data, again, very similar to previous holds, it's because the short interest is now up to 22.96%, a 1.63% increase as short exemptions go up. Over 61% of volume is sold short. Short exempt equals naked short. Now, again, what short exemptions is, is basically market makers are able to file shares that they can't locate and they are offer, they're able to offer X amount. And so it's a very stupid concept, which works for the big firms, but of course goes against us. And that's exactly what we're seeing AMC. And again, it is something that of course needs to be sorted out, but we're seeing how much AMC short sellers are really struggling right now, hence why they are in need to do this. And that's why whilst we are seeing the price of AMC dropping, I am still very, very optimistic on AMC. Another thing I want to talk about is Citigroup with the massive 92 million AMC put positions. They know AMC is still under pressure right now in the short to medium term, but they also added shares and not enough to make much lending, only 1 million shares, 881k new shares is a hedge for the MOAS. So, you know, when we take a look at this, it's why I'm saying I'm not too agreeing with using options on AMC because it's very, very short term. Now, we're giving two different effects here. Bank of America is obviously looking like they are quite bullish on AMC in the short term, but we're looking at Citigroup, who's very negative and very bearish on the AMC short term. But both firms, what they have in common is that they have loaded up on more shares. And so when you take a look at this, you see that 
really in the long term, they are very bullish on AMC, but it seems like they're trying to push down the price of AMC in the short term. And one can only argue is to, of course, protect their friends who are, of course, shorting AMC. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to press the like and subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys next time.